Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to decorate in my big horizontal happy planner and first things first I want to apologize if you hear any sounds or noise in the background. They are doing construction right across the street but this is the only time I can film this video so I'm going to try to make it work. We're going to get through it together. I hope the sound quality isn't too bad but we're just going to jump right into it. So you may have noticed there are two planners here. I usually decorate in this top one, but I am adding a new planner to my lineup. So let me go through it step by step. I was originally using this planner in, let's see, I think I started using it in August of last year. So I started using this in August of last year at the start of the school year because I was using this as an academic planner. And um, it worked out well. Even the times when I didn't decorate, I still used it. So I didn't decorate these weeks, but I decorated every other week except the monthlies. I don't use the monthlies, but I've decorated the weeks for my academic planning and it has worked out really well for that. So I want to continue using the big horizontal happy planner as an academic planner. However, I have been lately using this one. Let's see, let's go to the recent weeks. I've been using it as a daily journal during my summer break. So during the summer break, I've been daily journaling and I have found that this big horizontal is the perfect amount of space. The classic size is too small, but the big one gives me a good amount of space to write about my day. So my original plan was to just switch over from the daily journaling to using this as an academic planner starting next week. So I was gonna decorate this week right in my plans for the school year. But I don't wanna do that. I want to keep daily journaling in this. So that's where the new planner comes in. So this one is going to continue being for daily journaling. This one ends at the end of this year. So I'm going to continue the daily journaling at least until the end of this planner and I don't know if I'm going to continue decorating it or even if I decorate it I don't know if I will film it because I'm going to be filming decorating the new horizontal happy planner and I don't want to decorate well I guess I could just decorate two horizontals but that would use up a lot of my stickers I don't know I'll see what I end up doing with this one but this planner um, is going to continue being for daily journaling. So I bought this planner recently, which is really beautiful. And this one is only sold at Joanne. So I got this at Joanne and it's a big horizontal happy planner. And I'm going to start using this starting this upcoming week which is August 16th through the 22nd. So I'm going to start decorating in this one. This will be specifically for academic planning. So, oh, one other thing I should mention, let's turn to August and here and we'll show you that the color schemes are different. So in this one, it was yellow lines, but in the new one, it's this soft pink for the month of August. Each month is a different color scheme, but I actually like this pink uh, that they have here for August in this one. So I said all that to say that we're going to start planning in this new planner. I'm super excited about it. And we are going to do our first spread in it. So we are going to take these pages out. Now, this is just going to be me decorating. I'm not going to write in my plans 
this time because I don't have my schedule just yet. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am going to college. This is my senior year of college for accounting and I'm super excited about it, but that's why I need my planner to keep me on track with everything that I'm going to need to do. But I don't have my schedule or syllabus yet, so I won't be able to really write in all of my plans until like I get that information. So maybe I'll show an after the pin to show um, how things turn out. But we're going to still decorate. And to do that, I am going to use the flowers sticker book by the happy planner and we are going to use these florals i put them in the front so i wouldn't forget which ones i wanted to use but there are two pages of these let me just make sure there aren't any other pages that i left because let's see these could match yeah, we have two pages to work with. If I need more stickers, I might see if I can make those work, but we're gonna try to stick to what we have here. And we're just gonna get started. So this is gonna be a re really sparse spread. I am going to do what I usually do, which is cut the flowers in half so that I have more room to work with. Oh, the other thing about this horizontal planner compared to the other one I was using is that the other one had a shaded square in, at the bottom, but this one just says this week and it has a light decoration on it. Like you can barely see it. And I love that. I like that it's more neutral than the other one. So we don't have to worry about covering this up because I'm actually going to use this um, as its intended purpose. So all of that said, we are going to start sticking down stickers. My favorite thing to do. We are going to start by cutting this one in half. And let's see, it's a little big. What I might do is put this at the top. Yeah, we're going to put this at the top. And we're going to put this one next to it. And then we are going to do similar on this side. I'm going to end up covering up this quote that says be fearlessly authentic i actually do like that quote but i'm going to cover it up with stickers so let's do this i'm not going to cut this one in half should i i feel like Let's put it there and we'll cut it. Oh, I need to wipe this out. It shows in between. So let's wipe this out a little bit. So we have that. I also apologize if you can hear traffic. We live on a busy street, so there's always traffic noise in the background of my videos. Um, I hope that doesn't make them too too hard to watch, but can't really do anything about that, so we're gonna have to work with it. And then let's put this one. I feel like I'm gonna use up all of these stickers at the top.
And then let's put this one like that. And then we just have to cut this off. So let's start by cutting this one. And then I'm gonna try to save as much of these stickers as I can so that we can use them throughout the spread since we're kind of limited in the amount of stickers that we have. Trying to cut this very carefully. <laughs> So let's do this, almost got it. Oh no, come up, please don't stick down. Okay, so we have all of the stickers. Now where should we put the rest? I feel like I might as well just go on the borders. That makes sense to me. Let's put this one here. That's not straight at all. I mean it's straight, it's just not within the line. So let's turn it and try to get this correct. We're gonna cut it off right before Tuesday. I don't want it to cover it up. And then the rest are just these, which we can't really salvage at the moment. So I'll put them off to the side. Then, let's see. We have this one with, oops, I tore it a little bit, but with the stem still attached. We can use that there. We can use this one here. Then we need something at the bottom. This one is really big, but is beautiful and I think I'm gonna cut it in half. So let's, I'm kind of scared to do that though. Cause then where would we use it? We could probably get away with using it at the bottom. So let's do this. Let's cut it like that. And then I feel like even at the bottom, it just takes up a lot of space. Where should we put this? Because if I put it, I could put it on the side here, but then I wouldn't be able to put this one on the side because it would cover up the days. I think one of our only options is to, I'm gonna cut these in half again. That's what I'm gonna do. So we'll cut this in half like this. And then we have these little corner pieces that we could use more easily. So let's use this one down here. Let's use this one. I 
down here, but let's cut it just a little bit because it will cover up Thursday when we don't want that. So let's just cut right there. And then let's do the same with this one. Let's use this one on Saturday. Actually, I want to use it on Saturday. Let me move it in frame. I could use it, oh, I could use it in the notes area. That's what I'll do. I'll just have to write around it, but that's okay because I won't have a lot to put in. So then I'll put this one over here. Like that. Not bad, not bad. And then we have this one. This is the last big sticker that we have to work with. So I'm gonna cut it this way. And let's see where we could put them. I think we'll get away with putting that one there on Saturday and then I want to put one here, but I think that takes up too much space. So let's just put it, if I put it here, should I put it here? Let's put it next to this one. like that. And then we have this little one we can put here. This one we can put here along the notes area. And this is what we have left. So we have these small flowers some branches, and then we have leaves that we could use. For the small stickers, let's just put one here. This branch, let's cut off the stem. And put it here. Let's do the same with this one. Actually, let's put the branches together like that. And then we have some blue branches that we could use. I feel like this page has a lot going on, but we'll put that one there. Yeah, let's cut these stems off too. So we just have this little one, which we can put here under that flower. And then we have this little one we can put there. Oh, 
Oh, we have a third one. Let's just put this third one here too. Oh, was that in frame? Yeah, let's put those there. So this whole sheet is gone. And then we just have this leaf. And then this whole sheet is gone. So we have used all of the stickers. Let's just find a place for this. I think I'm gonna cut it in half because it's a little bit big. We're gonna put this half here. And this half here. And then, I think that's it. Yeah, I think this is it. So let's put this back in our planner. I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. For the first spread in this planner, I think I'm happy with this. But let's put it back in and take a final look. And this is what we are left with. I think it looks pretty. Flowers always make everything look nice, so I can't take much credit for this, but I think it looks really pretty. I love the flowers, um, and I like the color palette. I like how it matches with the pink lines that were already laid down for us. And yeah, I'm excited to write my plans down for this week. I don't think I will have a lot going on, but if I do, I have enough room to write them in. So yeah, I really like this and I hope that you like it too. And I hope you like this video, but that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.